Uh, welcome everyone to, to uh, the second video in uh, this video series about uh, the PFD and MFD for the G1000. And uh, today I'm going to discuss how to insert a flight plan, how to manipulate the flight plan. With, uh, I'm not going to, of course, like give you everything that's in the manual, but I'm going to give you what you need to get up and running with, I would say, 99.9% .9 of all the situations you might encounter with ETC. So I'm going to discuss how to enter a flight plan, how to use the direct to function to go to a specific waypoint in the flight plan, activate a leg in the flight plan, uh, inserting an airway, uh, inserting uh, and deleting uh, waypoints in the flight plan using the OBS function, Omni Bearing Selector. I'm going to explain that in just a second, and how to insert a hold. I would say with that, 99.9% .9 of the situations you might encounter with ETC will be covered. All right. So let's go ahead now. Let's say with, uh, that you've received an ETC clearance. You're flying between John Wayne and Santa Barbara in Southern California, and the, uh, the route that you received is, okay, from John Wayne uh, to Seal Beach VOR, as you can see here, uh, Sierra Lima India, and then Vector 23 Airway to LAX uh, VOR, and then Vector uh, 299 uh, Airway to Ventura, and then the Ventura 282 radial to Kuang. We don't need the radial for using the GPS because I can navigate between Ventura and Kuang using the GPS. It's a direct line. And then Kuang, and then after that, Santa Barbara. So how do I enter this in the GPS in the flight plan? So I can use this magenta. Remember, we discussed last time the CDI has three different options, right? The magenta for the GPS, if you have a flight plan, or you can use uh, CDI for the NAV1, or you can use it for NAV2, right? So today the focus is the magenta, the GPS, how to use it to navigate. So I will press flight plan, and uh, you can see now the cursor is flashing, right? It's telling me what do you want to enter here? What do you want to do? And this is what I'm going to use the FMS knob for. This is what I discussed with you last time. I'm going to emphasize it again. Think of the logic as follows. The big knob is to move between different items, big items. And then the small knob is to make me enter inside that item and change something inside it. So if I use the big knob right now, look what happens. It moves me between these two guys. But now I want to go inside it to change something. Use the small knob. I turned it, and it took me inside it. Now I am here. It asked me enter, you know, the, the, the abbreviation of the waypoint or whatever you want to enter here. If I use the big knob, it's not going to help me because it's going to move me, look, to the next item, to the next item, to the next item, to the next item. I want to go inside here and enter the information of that specific waypoint. Okay, well, I'll use that small knob. Here's okay. I enter the letter K for KSNA, which is John Wayne. Now, if I keep using the small knob, it's going to change that letter. I'm still here. I want to move to the next item, big knob. Now, I want to go inside there to change that item to make it S. So I use that small knob. Here we go. And, and we enter SNA. Here's K, big knob to go to the next one. Then the letter N for November. And then the next one. Yeah, letter A, here's it. It's identified. Santa Ana, John Wayne. Here we go. And it says press enter to accept. Self explanatory. I'll press enter. Here we go. That's the first waypoint. After that, I want to enter the seal beach where you are. That's Sierra Lima, India. I go inside that item that is flashing using the small knob. Here we go. And here's the small knob. S. Big knob to go to the next one. Small knob to change the item inside that menu. Big knob to go to the next one. And here we go. Sierra Lima, India. It's a seal beach view. I press enter to accept. Oh, and here we go. If there are other waypoints that have the same abbreviation, different parts of the world, Sierra Lima, India is the view R in Southwest USA. And then there's also there's an NDB with the same abbreviation in Colombia. And there's also a VR in Brazil that's Sierra Lima, India. It's always going to rank them based on which one is closest to you. And the closest one to us is obviously the first one. And I will press enter to accept it. It's been entered. And automatically, the G1000 will activate a lag between John Wayne and Seal Beach. And that magenta shows you I am now, here's a leg between these two uh, waypoints, okay? And it shows you a magenta and a deviation of the course, okay? Now, I want to enter now an airway. Very useful feature. Very important. I want to enter Victor 23 airway. So, I go and as the part is highlighted where I want to insert that airway. Remember that airway? I'm going to enter it at Seal Beach. And I'm going to exit that airway at Los Angeles VR. Here it's highlighted. I will press now menu. A lot of goodies are going to come out of the menu option. Well, there's a store flight plan. You can explore that on your own. Obviously, you can save a flight plan somewhere. Invert the flight plan. Once you have a flight plan created and you want to go back, you're doing like a round trip somewhere. You're going to go back on the same route pretty much. You can invert it without having to enter everything all over. How am I navigating between these two items? Again, with the logic that I told you before. The big knob. The big knob is moving me between different options. Delete the flight plan if I want to delete it completely and start over. And as I 
I use the big knob and here's the option I'm looking for load airway now I want to go inside there to change something all right how do I go inside there is it the small knob or the big knob nope in this case I have to press enter and it takes me inside okay if I use the small knob and the small knob is doing the same thing the big knob is doing this is like a hint without memorization without thinking is to use enter to enter there and change something look here there's nothing to go inside to change Juliet 134 airway because if I use the small knob or the big knob it's the same thing you make me scroll up and down nothing there at all that's the hint that if I want to select something is to press enter to go inside it so here I need to enter Victor 23 so I will scroll down Here's Vector 23 highlighted, I'll press enter, and it's asking you now, an airway, well, you're going to start or enter that airway from Seal Beach, Vector 23, where are you planning on exiting that airway? According to the clearance that I have, I'm going to exit that at the Los Angeles VOR, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight the Los Angeles VOR, press enter, and now it's asking me, would you like to load this? It's flashing, right? How do I select this? I want this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Enter. And I will enter that. And automatically in the flight plan, you can see it to It tells you Victor 23. Okay. And you're going to exit it at Los Angeles VR. And it will populate the flight plan with all the waypoints in that airway for you automatically. So you don't have to enter them and waste so much time. So it shows here, look, there's Popper, there's Hermo, and then there's Los Angeles VR. And that's when you're planning on leaving that airway. How do I scroll up and down the flight plan? Again, big knob. Look at the big knob. Takes me up. Here we go big items. If I want to go inside something and change it, I go there and I'm going to use now the small knob to in enter in that item and change it. Let's look at that clearance again. After Los Angeles VR, there's another airway called Victor 299. Okay, 299. Well, I highlight this part. I want to insert or I want to come in and insert or load the airway. How do I insert or load it? If I'm going to enter a waypoint, yes, I'm going to use the small knob to enter that waypoint. But I want to insert an airway. We've discussed this before. We press menu. And we use the big knob to scroll down and then enter. Takes me there, and I want to enter now Victor 299. I will use the big knob to scroll to Victor 299. Press enter. Where do I want to exit this? It's asking me. Well, it looks here, according to the clearance, I have to exit this airway at Ventura VR. So I will use the big knob to highlight Ventura, press enter, and it's asking you, would you like me to load this for you? Yes, enter, and it's been loaded. Here we go. So from the LEX, I'm going to enter Victor 299. I'm going to exit Aventura. And it, I pretty much have one waypoint here that I'm going to fly over in the airway before exiting, which is SATI, and it's entered for you automatically. After Ventura, in the clearance, it's the waypoint Quang. Okay, so I want to enter Quang. So how do I go inside that? I'm not entering an airway this time. I don't need to use menu. I mean, I'm doing, you know, entering a waypoint. I want to go inside now to change that. So I'm going to use a small knob. Now I want to enter something here so i'm going to use the small knob to go inside and enter quang here's k k is good i don't need to change it use the big knob to go to the next item then i use the small knob i'm going to go backwards because w is towards the end of the alphabet here you go and then big knob to go to the next item here you go small knob a big knob to go to the next item and then here we go november and big knob to go to the next item and quang which is golf here we go quang is here southwest usa it looks like this is the one i'm looking for about 90 miles from here sounds reasonable i will press enter to accept and it's entered for you now what is the next item okay well it's the destination santa barbara let's go ahead and enter that i want to now go inside this flashing item and enter something use the small knob it took me to our next menu i want to go inside here and enter that item ksba you're going to use that small knob and the key is entered ready for me it's good big knob to go to the next item and then sba here you go sierra small knob i'm many turning the small knob clockwise s big knob to go to the next item small knob a b here we go and ksba it already knows that ksb of the only item that we have in the in the in, saved in the unit is ksb is santa barbara okay i'm good here i stop i press enter to accept enter and it's entered and i do now have a flight plan now let's think now about uh, manipulating this flight plan. We know now how to enter flight plan. We know how to enter airways in the flight plan. So let's now see how we can uh, delete or insert waypoints in the flight plan. Let's say I would like to delete a waypoint of the flight plan. I want to delete Seal Beach. You use the big knob. Okay, here you go. I want to delete Seal Beach. Open flight plan. Cursor is flashing. Perfect. And now I'm going to don't press the cursor button. Don't press the FMS. It's going to just take you out. Look. It's going to stop flashing. That's it. Nothing. I can't do anything now. I cannot. If I use the big knob or big knob, there's nothing to scroll. There's no cursor to scroll it up and down. How do I get the cursor? Push. 
cursor. That's what it says here. So I will push. I have the cursor. I'm highlighting CLB right now. And I want to delete that waypoint. Well, I will press clear. Clear right here. Okay, if I press clear, it says remove seal beach. Well, I made a mistake. No, I don't want to remove it. Okay, well, what do I do? Well, I can click cancel, right? How do I click cancel? I can go the big knob to take me to the next item. Here we go. And click enter. That's one option. Or let me try to delete it again. I'll press clear as it's highlighted. And I'll press clear again. Takes me back. Like, oh, clear. I don't want to be in this menu anymore. I made a mistake. Right, so I saved myself one little rotation with the big knob that was useless for me. All right, but let's go ahead now and delete this waypoint. We'll press clear. It says, are you want to remove it? Clear, okay. Don't press the cursor. That's not an entering something. That's not a choice of something. That's just removing the flashing cursor. I will press enter now and say, okay. It's done. And what did it do? It automatically now said, okay, well, bye bye, Seal Beach. I'm gonna take you to the next waypoint, which is Popper, right? Popper, but I don't want to do that unless I want to put back seal beach again how do I insert a waypoint in the flight plan listen this is not the most intuitive thing in the g1000 flight plan menu it's kind of you know you need to understand how to do it it's very simple logic once you know it you highlight the waypoint you want to insert the new one before I want to insert LEX before popper right so I highlight popper it's highlighted for me already but let's say it's not highlighted I would use the big knob to go highlight it then I go inside that item and enter with a small knob. Here we go. It took me inside to enter something. Don't worry. You're not changing popper when you do this. You're not deleting popper when you do this. All you're doing is you're entering something that is going to be inserted before popper. Let's go ahead and now enter seal beach. Here you go. Small knob, changing the first letter. Yes. Big knob going to the next one. And then small knob to Lima. Big knob and then small knob. Here we go. Enter. And again, I'm going to pick the first one with enter, and look what happened. It inserted Seal Beach before Popper. Now, let's talk about something important, activating lag. All right, it looks like here that the lag that is activated right now, the magenta one, the purple one, is not the first one between John Wayne and Seal Beach. It's between Seal Beach and Popper. It's telling me this is the active lag right now on the CDI. But I want to activate the lag between John Wayne and Seal Beach. Highlight the second item in the lag you want to activate. So. This is the second waypoint that I want to in the leg that I want to activate between John Wayne and Seal Beach. Highlight it, press menu, and you see that the first thing that's going to pop up is activate leg. And you press enter. It says, I, You want to activate it? Here's go. Look at this arrow. It says, Between John Wayne and Seal Beach, activate? Yes, I do. I press enter, and this is the leg that's activated right now. If I want to activate the leg between Seal Beach and Popper, what do I do? Highlight the second waypoint in the leg, Popper, press menu, activate leg, enter. And then it says activate, yes, enter. That's the link that's activated. Let's go back again and highlight Seal Beach, menu, activate link. So I use menu now for two things. Just remember with me. I used it to insert an airway, and I used it to activate a leg, all right? And we're going to use it again in a couple more things, or one more thing, and then the rest you can explore on your own. Just trying to show you the big picture of what needs to be known here. Okay, good. We activated a leg. And... We talked about deleting a waypoint and inserting a waypoint, activating. How about direct to? Yes, very important. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it says clear direct popper. You want to go direct to popper. Well, if you press direct to from here, oh my God, Seal Beach, I have to enter popper. P O P P R. Okay, waste of time. You're in the aircraft trying to fly the plane. You want to be quick. How do I go around this such that I go direct to popper quickly? Okay, do this. Press clear. We come back again. Press the fly plan highlight popper with the big knob popper is highlighted right this is the item now i'm showing the unit i'm interested in this item right now and if i press direct to popper is inserted for me already outstanding and then i will press enter I said okay looks like you accepted popper would you like me to activate that or do you want to hold there i want to activate that i want to go direct to popper from where i am at this moment i will press enter and hmm, here we go i am now in a direct line between where i am and popper right there that is the direct track between me course 2 eight, 3 will take me from my current position to popper well what if i want to go direct to seal beach well fly plan highlight seal beach direct to and then enter to accept seal beach and enter to activate and now it's going from exactly where i am to 
Seal Beach. And you can see that little arrow. This is a rig to arrow. It's not a leg between where I... Remember, when I say I have a leg between John Wayne and Seal Beach, yes, I am in John Wayne, but I am not at the reference point of John Wayne, right? If I want to activate the leg between John Wayne and Seal Beach, highlight the second item in the leg. Menu. Activate leg. Enter. And acti enter. And here we go. That is the leg activated between John Wayne and Seal Beach. So we learn now how to do uh, a direct to in a smart way, okay, without having to enter all the letters of the waypoint. Okay, OBS. What is OBS? This guy appeared now that I'm using a flight plan with waypoints in it. What is OBS? It's called an omni bearing selector. Meaning what? Meaning if I want to fly a specific course to that waypoint. I don't want to fly the the, 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 the the leg between John Wayne and Seal Beach. I want to fly a specific course. Let me show you how to do this. If I click OBS now, that I have a waypoint I'm going to, you'll see OBS abbreviation appearing here. That means now you are in OBS function. And now the course knob, the small knob here on the right, is active and you can use it to change the course you want to fly there. Here we go. Look and look at the leg on the map on the on the on the bottom left and shows you it shows you visually a depiction of the course that you want to fly that you're selecting to fly there. So I want to fly this course. Let me zoom out on the map a little. Here you go. This is the line, the course I'm, I want to fly to Seal Beach. So I need to intercept this course on flight. Okay, interesting thing is now I selected this course, right, that I want to fly. You can keep, if you keep the OBS function on, it will have this course until Seal Beach, and it will have the opposite of it out of Seal Beach coming out from the other side, right? If you press OBS and turn it off, guess what? Now it has that course still active for you to Seal Beach, and after Seal Beach, the course is not active anymore, and it's actually sequence you to the next waypoint. Just remember that it's a very interesting gotcha of the OBS function, right? Let's say I don't need that OBS function anymore. I want to fly the leg between KSN and Seal Beach. Well, we learned how to do that. Highlight the second waypoint, Seal Beach, press menu, activate leg, enter, enter. Last thing I want to talk about is inserting a hold. It's a very useful feature, very important feature. Let's say I want to insert a hold at Seal Beach or, you know, at any waypoint. We'll highlight that waypoint with a big knob. I will highlight Seal Beach and again menu and scroll down with a big knob to until you find uh, the option of hold that waypoint. Here we go, hold that waypoint, enter, and it's going to ask you now to enter information about the hold you want to do there. What? Let's say I'm to, in the U.S. usually being told to hold on a radial, and a radial is an outbound. Okay, that's every you know you have to enter this as an outbound. But sometimes when you read an ODP procedure, obstacle departure procedure text, they always give you the inbound of the hold. Just pay attention to the two. In Europe, usually you are being told to hold. You're given the inbound of the hold. But let's assume you're in the U.S. Okay, was well, told to hold on a radial. Okay, a seal beach hold on the radial 270 standard. Well, right turns. Okay, how do we enter this? Well, 270. It's highlighting the first item 289er. I want to change this to 270. I want to go inside it to change it. Small knob. Here we go. And now it took me to 28, right? I want to, do I want to go to change the 9 or to change the 28? If I want to change the 9, big knob. It moves you to the next item. Big knob again brings me back to the last item. No, I want to change that one to 27. Then use now the small knob to go inside and change it. So I use the small knob. Here's 27. I'm good. I want to change now the 9 to 0. I want to move to the next one. Big knob takes me there. Then I will use the small knob now to change that number to 7, 270. I'm good here. Here's now the big knob. Look, nothing is happening. It's like moving me between these two items. Now I want to accept that guy. I want to move on to the inbound. Press enter. Takes me there. Here's the next item. Is this an inbound or outbound? Well, I want to change it to outbound. So I go inside it with the small knob. Now it's outbound. I want to accept it. I will press enter. Time for the, uh, for the legs. Okay, well, one, one minute leg. Okay, well, we're below 14,000 feet, for example. And then is it standard or not standard? Okay, accept that. Accept the one minute, go, takes uh, takes you with the enter button, and then I go to right or left. If I want to make non-standard, use the small knob. And left or, you know, right. I'm going to accept right. So it enter, and it says, okay, FC time. We'll discard this right now. I'm not going to talk about this. You can look it up in the manual. And go to load with the big knob, press enter, and the hold has been inserted for you, and it's actually drawn right here. Okay, there's a hold at Seal Beach that has been inserted. After Seal Beach, the aircraft will have the hold for you 
depicted graphically on the NSET map. And with that, I pretty much covered the basic functions. But remember, the menu, we use the menu to insert a vector airway, right? We use the menu, okay, so I uh, to activate a leg. When I highlight the second waypoint in the leg, and press menu to activate the leg, okay? And we used the menu to insert a hold. And the menu has also interesting options if you press on it, other than if there's a store fly plan, you can save that fly plan and, you know, recall it later. You can invert it, so it has other options you can look at. You can delete the entire fly plan. Load airway, we discussed that. Collapse airways, you can look it up in the manual. It's not a big feature that's going to be very useful for you. But if you're interested, you can look it up in the menu. Closest point of the fly plan, parallel track to the actual track. Create track uh, a track offset waypoint. What did that What did that mean? All right, this will create a waypoint before the next waypoint. Okay, and it's going to be inserted for you. What, why do people use this for? Usually, it's maybe sometimes when people want to define, they want to remind themselves, when do I need to call ATC? You know, 10 miles before a waypoint or 5 miles before a waypoint or something. Let's say a class delta, I want to be 10 miles out to call them. Well, I can actually insert an offset waypoint that is 10 miles out of the delta if you highlight the delta and create that, that airport itself and you with the waypoint and create the offset waypoint before it, 5, 10 miles, etc. Sometimes you want to start descending, okay? When do I start descending? I want to start descending about 20 miles before, 30 miles before, and I want to remind myself, you can create a waypoint there. It's called create uh, offset waypoint. Let's, you know what? Let's, let's try it, okay? Let's say I'm going to Seal Beach. I want to create like two miles before uh, Seal Beach, okay? On the same lake between John Wayne and Seal. I want to create a waypoint there. So I'm going to use menu and create, there you go. We go create enter and look it's highlighting here how many miles how many miles look at the look at what's going to happen now if i go use the small knob now minus or plus here we go plus or minus it's actually going to go minus how many miles before let's say i'm going to go three miles before enter and look at this. There's a waypoint has been created right here. Look at this. It's three miles before Seal Beach. Seal Beach minus three. Okay. Now, what do I need this? Maybe I need, uh, maybe they'll report three miles inbound Seal Beach, for example. Or it's my destination is the next waypoint and I want to put uh, a distance before that I want to start descending or contacting it to see. Very useful feature. And with that, I think I pretty much covered the basics of the flight plan function and the manipulations of the flight plan. And in the next video, I'm going to talk, talk about the CDI, uh, the, you know, the the magenta, a little bit based, you know, we, and how, how we, you know, how to use the OBS again. We discussed that in this video, but I want to just cover it like briefly and then move on to nav one and nav two on the CDI. When you press that, what's going to happen? And then I'll discuss the autopilot in a separate video. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.